And so the exam starts, and we are finally treated to some sexy scenes with the girls in swimsuits, including Nikumi. Uh, that was a very welcoming sight. And it turns out they are going to the beach, but not to have fun, as it turns out that the, their exam is to run seaside uh, sea shops that they have rented out, and they're gonna serve the. And if the age of team manage to uh, reach the sale quota, they will pass, and they will have to earn nine thousand yen per day. That is to earn 26,000 uh, 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 the next three days as a passing mark. I mean, uh, I know it's a manga and I know it's fiction and I am not a cook so I don't know but... Uh, that it isn't that little bit extreme. Even for a cooking manga, come on, be a little bit more reasonable. Oh uh, well, it doesn't matter. So well... And well, Irina doesn't have to do this because, after all, she is the headmistress. And it also seems that she has also already participated in uh, uh, something else. Something about a chef's mantle, something that uh, uh, cooking over a steam of fire or something like that. I don't really understand. So, well, all of them have to cook as the lead 10 also head out. We still don't know exactly who the rest... Well, no, actually, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Sorry, sorry, we do know who the rest are. But the second year, Elite Tens are only here. And it turns out Kurokiba is the only one in Speedos. Yeah, why is he in Speedos? Well, at least the others <coughs> have short swimsuits, so that's good enough. But it turns out that the Elite Ten are actually going to do something even more difficult. They are going to... Uh, cook uh, in a condemned building, meaning that not only do they have to uh, make the building presentable, they have to cook as well. Because apparently that is the key, the key thing of everyone who have become an Elite Ten and still have uh, to do these exam moments. In a way, actually, that makes sense. Because, you know, the Elite Ten were called the Elite Ten. Meaning they have to be elite if they want to be in the 10. So of course their uh, exams would be a lot harsher than the regular people. Because if they couldn't clear that, then they wouldn't be called the elite. And I guess that's why they were so... Also shows why all of the regular elite 10 were so, well, eccentric. So they all begin... Uh, so they all divided in each team as uh, Nikumi... Uh, the... <coughs> Subaki, <coughs> not Subaki, Ibuki, and uh, the. Oh, sorry, I forgot her name now. The beautiful blonde girl that. Uh, not Ryu. Megumi, Soma, and uh, Takumi is in one team, though. So, well, uh, they begin the exam, and all they will have to. Cook for a while, while Megumi works also together with uh, Hayama to uh, make it appropriate. While Soma and all he ho, well, of course, Alice doesn't help. But then we see um, Asushi again, who is of course here also to gloat, saying that uh, Soma declares that he's gonna blow for this exam, and then else so he can challenge you again. But then suddenly Asashi says something like. Very soon, Naikira Elena will leave you, somewhere far, far away, somewhere you cannot reach her. And true enough, a shadow figure approaches Erina, as we do not see who it is. So, uh, I, I'm ha not that we shouldn't jump to conclusions immediately. But for now, let's jump into conclusions and ask ourselves uh, this. Okay, Asashi, you want to marry Erina. Because you consider yourself the best cook, and Irina as the best chef, uh, and has the tongue that can actually make the best cooking. And now you're gonna kidnap her? Or are you doing all of this just so you can save her, in order to get Irina to fall for you even more? 
I mean, I know you're scum. I know you're scum, Asashi, but what the hell are you planning? I know you have no complex plan. Make Irina fall in love with you and marry her and blah, 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 all that stuff. Romance is never dull. You know, although I don't know, I don't have a girlfriend, but what I'm trying to say is... Are you kidnapping her? Take her away from this? Or are you making someone kidnap her? So that Soma can be humiliated, trying to save her, lose this exam, and then Asashi sweeps in and save Irina, therefore taking all the credit. I mean, in a way, that would work, you know. Hear me out. In a way, that would work. Asashi sees himself as this prince on a high stallion that Irina should fall for. And what? And uh, Irina is a sucker for shoujo manga. Although, technically, not all shoujo manga is about a big, handsome prince on a horse, but maybe he's gonna model this situation just after that. And that's gonna make uh, Irina fall in love with him even more. Asashi. Whatever you're planning, whoever that shadow figure is, just give it a rest. That's basically this chapter. The exam may have started, and it was pleasing seeing all the girls in their swimsuit. That it was. Other than that, though, the real downside of this chapter was, of course, Asashi and his breath again. Is he gonna get away with this exam? Well, if that makes Soma grow, I don't know. But Soma, you need to grow in character well, being so obsessed about challenging people. But give me your thoughts if you have any. Like and subscribe if you want to.